today we're going to talk about our new 30 miles out kayak fishing trailer. You know, picking out a kayak trailer for your yaks can be a big deal. There's so many out there. Do I modify one from Harbor Freight or do I buy a, one from a company that makes them custom? There's just a lot of options. You know, I started out with a pickup truck with a bed extender, and I still feel like that's a great way to go. But if you don't want to unload every time, and you want to just back the yaks in the garage, a kayak trailer can keep all your fishing gear and your yaks in the ready. Oh, look, a perception. After going from pickup trucks to trailers, my first trailer was from Lowe's, and I just modified it. Then I went to the ride-on trailer, and now, today we're going to talk about the new one. Went ahead and picked up this new Hobie Live Wheel. Cause now that we uh, we're doing more guiding and BTV, we have to keep pins and uh, thread fin herring. And cigar men is a, a lot live for several people, so we got the Mammer Jammer Live Well. Give me some time with this Live Well, and I'll tell you in another episode how it's working. Hey everybody, I've been getting a lot of questions about our new kayak fishing trailer. Um, we've got the Trail X. I got it from Eris at Mariner Sales. What I did was I told Eris what my problems were with my old Lowe's trailer and with guiding and filming the show. I know y'all remember this guy, the good old Lowe's trailer that's been converted. I got this trailer about four years ago. I got it in, in when I lived outside of San Antonio. I had a local RV shop weld that bar on the top and extend the tongue out. Had I stayed in a freshwater environment, this trailer would still be like brand new almost. But since I've been bringing it to the salt for four years, it's paid the price. It's just a metal steel angle iron trailer and uh, they don't like salt water. And here's what the bottom of that trailer looks like today. Completely rusted out. I had to put cross boards to be able to put stuff inside because it's just rusted completely. It'll last another year or two like this, but uh, for saltwater use, I'm going to have to go with something different. And this is what we decided to do for 2016. Bam, this is it. The Trail X Multiple Kayak Trailer. Not, I know not everybody needs to haul six kayaks around, but I think when you're talking about salt water, the key word here is aluminum. The reason I like this trailer, my Lowe's trailer is completely rotted out. Three years in salt water, no bottom, rusted completely out. I knew I needed to go with aluminum. So this whole thing, 95% of it is aluminum. And aluminum and salt water go together beautifully. Uh, steel does not it rust out This is the first time we've ever had a center post a center bar being able to snug the kayaks up to the middle and Cinch them down. It seems to make for a much more stable ride So I've got a, another thing is the weight of these Hobies. I like to have a very low position so this is, you know, like knee level to get this first kayak up, which is what we use most often. We got two people that want to go with us. I go with this rack. Two more kayaks, Hobies or whatever. Wilderness, it doesn't matter. I could put two more up here for six if I had a big crew um, that we were guiding or if we were filming with a lot of people. I could put more kayaks on top. I'd probably do seven if I had to. So. Trail X is doing the trick. We love it. It's got a long tongue. It pulls like a boat trailer, but uh, it's really doing the job. It gives us a lot of versatility, and uh, I can almost load. I can load and unload by myself if I have to with an Outback, which is pretty impressive. Trail X makes a lot of configurations for double kayaks, single kayaks, all aluminum. You know, can you get away with a steel trailer from Lowe's? Yes, you can, especially in a freshwater environment. When you're talking about saltwater, man, aluminum for me 
is the way to go. It, it's going to last a long, long time. Right there, you see all that water draining out, all that salt water? That's what killed my Lowe's trailer. It's aluminum for us from now on. So this is how Teresa and I are gonna be rolling down the highway in 2016 with the Trail X all aluminum trailer. Hey, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see y'all in the next 30 Miles Out episode. What?